Good morning, everybody. AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So today we have a Collins 30L1. It's a 4.40 a.m. here on a Saturday, but I have so many amps to do, I have to get another one done today. So this had a set of Svetlana 811s in it. One of the tubes failed. It flashed, took out, took out the grid loading resistor. Uh, someone put the wrong type of grid loading resistors in, so I'm going to replace all of those. I'll replace the mica caps. I'll rewind the parasitic suppressors. I'll change the series glitch resistor. Take out the two carbon ones. I'll put in a different resistor. Higher value. Higher wattage. And uh, the resistance will be higher. Give everything more protection. If there's a fault, clean all the contacts, and I'll uh, I'll go over everything when it's when it's all set. Someone added that lamp on the front, this thing right here. So that's not stock. I also changed the meter lamp bulb. Hey, right, I'll be back. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, I just want to show it really quick. I made new parasitic suppressor assemblies. The old straps were very frayed. New carbon comp hundred ohm two watt resistors. Here are the old ones. So I'm going to get some stuff here. I'm going to go through that. So I'm going to replace the choke also. So got all the work done down here. So, so I'm going to replace the diodes and the electrolytics. So I, I can leave those alone. All right, so I'm going to get I'm going to get back to work, and I will see you soon. Okay, so I cleaned it all up. I zip tied the neutral away from the plate B positive crowbar over here. You don't want that to touch. Change the 10K resistor is way out of tolerance. I put the proper electrolytic cap in. Put a new 47 ohm resistor in. So everything is good. So I'll be back. Okay, so we're back with the completed 30L1 here. Point everything out. New grid loading resistors, new mica cap between the grid and the ground per tube. Uh, gas discharge tube, one per side of the filament. Get one here, one over here. Change the 47 ohm resistor. It's way out of tolerance. I already showed the bottom. I made new parasitic suppressor assemblies with new strap, put the series glitch resistor in, 10 ohm, 10 watt, clean the TR relay deoxy gold, input rotary switch deoxy gold, output rotary switch deoxy gold, I oiled the fan, so also replace the meter lamp bulb. So this thing is good to go. If you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call, 203-892. 4119 and the website is amprepairguy.com. Take care. Yeah, I just wanted to make a note here that you have to notch one, at least one socket, the one upper right hand side, the tube that's closest to the load air variable. So, not this one, the one down there. You have to notch it for the pin to get it to fit, and sometimes you may have to do another one, possibly. So I just use a file, I just carefully file it, you know, the where the you know the hole right here close to the screw. And we have a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Awesome company. Can't say enough good stuff about the people there, really, really nice people. If you ever have an issue, they are spot on. Just great product. So those are installed. And I want to make another note here. It's best to remove the tubes, the bottom tubes, with the bottom cover off. Don't try to remove them from the top. Just take the bottom cover off, remove them, and then install them. And then, you know, with the 572s, you may have to go, you have to go in at a slight angle to get the pin past the chassis. But they will go in. Um, but like I said, that top one has to be, uh, the hole has to be notched just a, a hair for the pin to, to fit because you can't go sideways because of the air variable in the way. So thanks for watching. Ampreparagot.com 203-892-4119.